In 1 Thessalonians 5, Paul exhorts us to be ready for Christ's return. Scholars, pastors, and nearly everyone under the sun have theories about when Jesus will return. But Paul's final instructions to the church were not concerning when or how this will happen. For we know the Lord's return will come unexpectedly, like a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 1 and 2. Instead, Paul focuses on what we should be doing with the time we have left. Paul begins by reminding us to live peaceably with each other. 1 Thessalonians 5.13 If Jesus comes back tomorrow, would he find our relationships at peace or riddled with conflict? He challenges us to see that there are people desperate for the healing power and the love of Jesus. If we are timid in sharing our faith and using the gifts God has given us, or worse, too busy quarreling, they will never meet Christ. But if we use our time and energy to warn those who are idle and disruptive and encourage the disheartened, help the weak and be patient with everyone, we will be living out our calling to invite as many people as possible into a relationship with Jesus before he returns. 1 Thessalonians 5.14 Then finally, Paul asks us to consider if there is anything in our lives that we would regret not repenting of. 1 Thessalonians 5.15 If there are relationships to make right or sin we know we need to turn from, then the time to do so is now. If we have a relationship with Jesus, we don't have to be scared about Jesus' return, but we should be prepared. It's not as much as about how or when Jesus will return, but about how we can best use the time we have left to live for him and encourage as many people as possible to come into a saving relationship with him. There's no time to waste. Let's do some reflection. If Jesus comes back tomorrow, are you at peace in your relationship with him? Are your relationships at peace? If not, what is one step you need to take today to make them right? Have you worked hard and been responsible with the opportunities Jesus has given you? If not, what step do you need to take today to do what He is calling you to do? Is there anything you would regret not repenting of? If so, Confess it to Jesus and ask him to help you to turn from that sin or sins or from those sins. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you can start one today. Jesus is holding out his hands to us. In Revelation 3.20, he said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. In other words, God is going to do the transformation. He's going to bring the change. He says to us in Philippians 1.6, He which has begun a good work in us is able to bring it to completion. So we need not worry about how the transformation will take place, how we will be changed, how we will become holy. That's not our department. Leave that to Jesus. And when we surrender, it's not a one and done thing because today's victories would not account for tomorrow's victories so daily we have to surrender our lives to jesus because every day will be will be faced with its with different temptations different struggles but as we surrender god is the one who's going to give us the power and the strength to live the overcomer's life are you ready for Jesus to come? Do you want to be ready? All you need to do is to surrender. He says in John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That whosoever means you. That whosoever means me. 
that whosoever means the drunkard that whosoever means the adulterer the fornicator the liar the gossiper that whosoever means anyone who believes that jesus can give them the power to overcome don't listen to the devil's lies any longer that you are not worthy to be a child of god god died for you he sent his son for you and i so you are valuable he sees us as the apple of his eyes surrender to jesus today if there's no relationship start one today he's waiting have a great day